In life, we are taught that everything that has a beginning also comes with an end. For our students, success starts here, with AVID. The beautiful thing about the success with AVID is that it has no end or limits. When we think about the youngsters sitting in our classrooms, we often don't know their stories. Imagine those students who experience the difficulties of immersing in a new culture, a new language. Think about the students who face homelessness and a loss of hope to exit that cycle of poverty. I have to share with you my story, for I am that child. 1994 changed my life when my parents decided to leave Mexico and start a new life in the United States for good. I was an English learner, and still am, arriving to an eighth grade class and had to meet every standard with a language barrier, academic limitations, and financial hardships. The daughter of a mom who only reached sixth grade and a father who left seventh grade to start working in the fields. We were homeless, we were on public assistance, and I remember having four changes of clothes to get by in middle school. I landed in the eighth grade English classroom of Mrs. Diamantopoulos, who recommended me for the AVID program for when I went to high school. And since I didn't know any better, I just went along with it. <laughs> Little did I know that by joining the AVID program, my success would start there. I met my first fairy godmother, my AVID teacher, Mrs. Goddard, This woman made me do an assignment. How dare she? We had to get a college application. We had to complete it. And then she took that application and she drove it to Cal State San Marcos the day it was due. I was accepted and I was shocked. I never thought to be college material. And I thought to myself, do they really know what they're doing? It was at Cal State San Marcos where I met my next fairy godmother, Delcy Perez. <laughs> she helped me finish the game. I am a product of the AVID program and very proud of it. I married the life of an educator and became an advocate for students. I was a teacher and assistant principal and now I'm a principal at Monta Vista Middle School working with a team of very passionate teachers to become a model AVID school because we know that AVID breaks that cycle of poverty. It empowers students. It changes lives. The most rewarding thing in this journey is seeing our students gain hope and the belief that they are college material, even when they don't fully believe it and they can have that choice. The mission of AVID is to close the achievement gap and change the lives of students. What we fail to realize is that with AVID, we aren't just changing a life with each child. We are changing their entire generation because college becomes the expectation. As an AVID student, I blossomed and I felt like I acquired superpowers for learning. As an AVID teacher, I also felt like I had superpowers for helping students prosper and excel in mathematics. As an administrator, I get to work with the godparents or teachers of our students and plan to give hope to all students who set foot in our school. The most rewarding thing is when you see students who have formed their lives and careers, and they tag you on Facebook to let you know that you made a difference, and also to remind you of the cranky days you had. <laughs> I am the full circle, and not because of this. <laughs> I am the unleashed potential and evidence of what our students can become. 
My mission continues to be changing the lives of students as mine was changed. AVID not only transforms students, it transforms educators. We make each classroom a home. We give them hope. We give them a family. We give them power. And AVID gives them wings. For those of you who believe that our students are our future, that is not entirely true. They are our present. Everyone in this room is the fairy godmother or fairy godfather to at least one student. We have that magic wand. So get those superpowers warmed up and go give them hope. Remember, success starts here with AVID. Once we empower them, their success will have no end. Thank you so much for letting me share my story.